Welcome to the 43rd Denver Film Festival. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone at home. Hi everybody. Hi everyone. I wish we could be there in person. I'm thrilled to be here today. You will love the film. You can't really see, but I've got a lot of a lot of grays and they all happen on this movie. It could be the biggest idea of this century. Excellent. Hi, my name is Alan Kim. I acted in the movie you are about to see called Minority. and heavy but important film. Very excited to have her joining us from Brazil. A, a time and a place in America that I didn't know much about before making the project. So and let's go for it, Neil. Great, and we'll be right back after the film with, a, with an amazing Q&A with the uh, cast and the writer-director of Monuments. Enjoy. Enjoy and vote. We just couldn't be talking about this film in a more appropriate context. Just this interesting dialogue between technologists who are creating what is and, and artists who are imagining what could be. Ciao. She's, she's one so wonderful. Um, we were just sitting and having a coffee and she was like, hey, I have this script I want to show you. Her cousin wrote it. And I'm like, what? Who's my cousin? Um, she's like, Isaac Chung. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of times these systems haven't been vetted for bias or even for accuracy. And yet they are trusted to make decisions about human destiny that are so sacred to us. Senator Pedersen, th th there are major advantages to being in an elected position with regard to this opiate crisis. However, it also puts you in the spotlight. I was in a unique position, you know, watching my mom just be turned in and out of the ICU and having nowhere to send her. You're supposed to do all the talking, but I just wanted to um, <laughs> tell you all the reasons that I was so excited about your movie. And many people have locked his legacy into just that moment in time and reduced it to be about black folks and white folks holding hands. I love what you did here with this film, but not only expanding his personal legacy and the complexities of him as a person, but also his vision for a future beyond civil rights. And the white female journalist asked Dr. King, don't you feel that you're causing all these riots in the streets? You know, don't you feel things are moving too fast? And you know, Anthony, when I hear that, those kind of lines, I think it sounds like 2020, you know? You're not Gondry, you're not Gondry. Edson, and you're bringing something new to the table. Yeah. That is 100%. just as worthwhile and important. <laughs> so, Nine days. Nine days. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much to the Denver Film Festival. The fact that everyone's watching this movie, uh, thanks to Denver, means a lot to me. I'm very grateful. Uh, thanks to Matthew Campbell and the programming team and everyone involved at Denver Film. Bye. <laughs> and I see you soon. Thank you. It's a pretty amazing film. Thank, Thank you. You're very kind of you. Thank yeah. you. I really just hope to be able to bring my next film to Denver Film Festival live and in person. 